صباح الخير بوكر توب جود مورنينج صورايم توفيم اخي صورايم توفيم مساء الخير جود ايفنينج سو نايس تو بي اولسو توداي توجذر اند تو كام تو جوين تو سميل ذا فريغرنس اوف ذا فيري 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 كلين اند كلير سولز اند تو سي اول اوف ذيس جريت كولرز كامينج تو بي توجذر I think we 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 brought the redemption we brought the yeshua we brought al khalas uh, to 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 our eyes the inner eyes we are together we are one do you feel that that we are one i i feel it i feel it you know this is so beautiful to be one when you are one you can feel everything because you will feel everyone coming here Again, I want to say that there are lots of pain. There are lots of pain, but the pain is connected to us from outside. But the beauty is within us, built in. If you want to lost, if you want to lose, if you want to forget the pain, connect to your beauty, to your calmness. you will feel all of these people within you this is the movement of the life to be together a a very beautiful and very cute bird try to wake up early morning to be with the rest of the uh, 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 birds he say i will go quickly to find my breakfast where i don't know but i i need to wake up he try and he try and he try he he couldn't awake he couldn't awake why i slept early everything is okay i'm 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 strong i'm i i don't uh, uh, do a bad things why i cannot wake up oh and he forgot but on the real time he wake up and he discovered that it was dream and he flew he found his breakfast the meaning is he try to organize his time and a bad dream came to him then we need to take all of the bad dreams throw them out and to prepare for the coming to prepare the day after the day after it will be a very shiny day good morning shahabuddin david good les good morning good morning everybody um i too feel our connection so strongly and someone asked me they said well do these prayer vigils really work And I thought, you know, I'm going to speak for just a moment about how it really works. We could all pray in our homes and it's effective and it's beautiful, it's wonderful. But when we come together like this, we create like a big bowl and we create a form. It's a thought form and a heart form, but it's a form. And that form draws the energy of the the cosmic soul of the one being the only being and draws that into the bowl and focuses it like a lens and that lens has power it doesn't always do what we want i mean i'd like to have peace right now this minute not today but right now but i know that we are part of the process of real peace being born and what we're doing here not on an ego level but on a heart level is so damn important what we're doing here is so critical that we create this this uh place where the the energy of the infinite which is pure love can be focused and can be directed towards peace and that's the work of the peacemaker they can't make peace but they can make the accommodation they can make the bowl they can make the mold in which 
the energy will be cooked by the energy of our hearts and come forth as delicious, although painful, peace. So what do we do the day after? We do what we do, we're doing today. We come together, we work together, we have differences of opinion and that's fine, but we're all part of the one form that is focusing the energy of the infinite being, of the only being, and focusing that towards peace. Never forget that in Hebrew, in Aramaic, in Arabic, peace is one of the names of God. So, so peace to all of us, and let's spread that peace throughout the universe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So yes, 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 Shahabuddin, inshallah. And uh, I, I want to say, right, we will do the same as we are doing now in the day after. But from today, we need to prepare it to get there, inshallah, as we are doing together all the time. Uh, uh, before we'll pass to our great and holy rabbi, I want to say, uh, uh, last night I had a dream. Uh, uh, and we need to send a lot of love to Germany today also. I, 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 I was visiting in, in, in the house of my friend Bjorn. And uh, I say to him, oh, Bjorn, I want to tell you something. Uh, I'm here in Europe for a long time. Long time, I don't know how much. But I, I, I need to eat something. He said, Hassan, uh, we, we did for you a great maklube. Great maklube. It's a Palestinian food, you know. It's <laughs> it's it's a very typical. I think Rabbi Amichai, you know that very well. And uh, uh, I entered there. He said, "Listen, but uh, I prepared. I invited many many friends, and I saw their role and and many people. And when we began to eat, I say, "Wow, it's a great, but it's not maklube." He said, "No, no, no, it's maklube. It's it's German maklube." Lots of fruits, lots of uh, vegetables there. Lots. It was delicious, uh, unless I didn't uh, sleep uh, hungry or starving, you know. And uh, when I woke up, I, I asked Layla, I say, my wife, Layla, I saw this dream. What the meaning? He say, what did you see? I say, I saw uh, vegetables and fruits. She say, this is sign for peace soon, ceasefire. Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, uh, our friend, our great man, uh, a, a great rabbi and very brave rabbi, that he is part of the process of peace, of great peace, connecting, understanding, knowing, coming together. He is not so far from us. He is from New York. But originally, he is from the same place of mine, and I am from the same place of him, from the Holy Land. Rabbi Amichai. Rabbi Amichai, I will not talk a lot. You will talk about yourself. You will give your prayer. You will do as you like for to call the peace, to get out, to show, to be here. Rabbi Amichai, it's yours, please. Mm. Salam alaikum. Good morning. Hello, friends. Thank you so much, Sheikh Hassan, for inviting me to be with you and your beautiful community at this vigil today. It is really an, a, a humbling honor during these difficult days to come together. And I applaud you for your compassion, for your courage, for your insistence on creating spaces where we can pray together for the well-being of the Palestinian people and the Israeli people, people of all faiths and all nationalities, beyond the boundaries and beyond the binaries. And that is my prayer and my intention many years and certainly these past difficult 11 months. So I'm so honored and grateful on this day while we are Every morning waking up and processing the news and uh, hoping for these kind of spaces where we can forge a path forward. Um, I want to say very briefly as a way of introduction, I am indeed from Israel where I grew up in a very religious uh, Jewish home. I came to New York almost 30 years ago 
and uh, over time created a theater company that focuses on the sacred stories of all people and how we can talk back to our sacred stories when they don't serve our spirit anymore because of misogyny or homophobia, because of the fear of the other, or because of all the other patriarchal gifts that we've inherited. And some of them don't serve us so well anymore. And that eventually led to a congregation, a community here in New York called Lab Shul. We are a laboratory and a school for love. And um, we go by God optional because unlike the Sufi way, a lot of people are allergic to the G-O-D, but they are open to spirit and we are everybody friendly. Whoever comes is welcome. Um, these last many months have been obviously very complicated and hard. People are with di very different political opinions and thoughts and fears. And I've been going back and forth between Israel, Palestine and New York to be with my family and friends and primarily to help lift up and support peacemakers, um, especially on the ground who are refusing to despair and refusing to believe that what is now is what is forever. We have to forge forward and this is one of the ways of doing so. Um, I will share with you a prayer in a moment, but before so, I have to address the Maklube. Sheikh Hassan, what a dream. A Palestinian Maklube with a German twist of fruit. Wow, okay, it's a messianic version. Well, it so happens, I am so fortunate I have two friends staying with me, two really beautiful Palestinian Twist. women, sister, oh, sisters. Wow. Okay. It's a messianic version. Well, it's... Ah, hold on. There was some kind of an echo. Okay. Um, I have two friends staying with me this week from Haifa, um, two women who are peacemakers, who are Palestinian and who are lovely. And to uh, celebrate our being together and all the, the Israeli-Palestinian peace work we're doing, cooked an amazing maklube just two nights ago. I wish you were here. You could join our feast, but inshallah, there will be a day in Sarasota, in New York, in Nazareth, somewhere, Germany, where we uh, we break bread and eat really good maklube together. Um, and in that spirit, um, I want to say that really the, the leaders and the voices that have guided me throughout my life and at this time are the mothers and the women who refuse to let the old patriarchal guard be the way we live by. And we are blessed to live at a time where there are sheikhs and there are rabbis, there are ministers and there are imams, and there are more and more women who are taking charge of our spiritual path. And there are more people who are not in the hetero patriarchal normative. And I believe that is part of the redemption. And so towards that, I wanna share with you a, a prayer that some of you might know. It's called the Mother's Prayer for Peace. Um, it was uh, co-written by two mothers who are two spiritual leaders in Israel and Palestine. One of them is um, Sheikh Hassan, you know her well, uh, Ibtissam Mahamid from Faradis, uh, who is really a, a spiritual leader um, of her people and many people. And 10 years ago in 2014, the last big round of violence between Israel and Gaza uh, Ibtissam came together with Rabbi Tamar Elad Applebaum, a Jewish rabbi and peace activist in Jerusalem. And together they wrote the Mother's Prayer for Peace in Hebrew and Arabic. And I had the honor of translating it into English. I'm going to put the link to this prayer in the chat. And with your permission, I'm going to read just the English. Um, it is an invitation specifically for Fridays. So it's very auspicious. The holy day for the Muslim tradition, the holy day for the Jewish tradition for us to light candles together and to light candles for peace. So my candle is lit already on my altar. When the sun sets, I will lit the Shabbat candles with my community. But for now, I'm lighting this candle of prayer with you. And um, I've just put the link in the chat. And I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to invite us to channel the spirit of these elders, these women who refuse to let the old guard lead our way. And I invite you to maybe close your eyes for a moment, take a deep breath. Invite in this prayer of mothers and grandmothers of all of our ancestors, for the ancestors we want to be united by our faith in humanity. Mother's prayer for peace. Let us light candles. Two mothers, one plea. Now more than ever, 
during these days of so much crying, on days sacred to both our religions, let us light a candle in every home for peace, a candle to illuminate our future face to face, a candle across borders beyond fear, from our family homes and houses of worship, let us light each other up. Let these candles be a lighthouse to our spirit until we arrive at the sanctuary of peace. Inshallah, lo yehi, amen, amen, amen. Shabbat shalom, Sabbath of peace, sacred gatherings. May we meet together. May we feast together. May we heal the world together bit by bit. Amen. 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 Shukran jazilan. Toda raba. Toda raba raba ala. Milim Abdushot. Thanks for this really holy prayer and holy uh, meeting and holy heart. And thank you so much for this deep uh, 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 prayer and words and letters that you combine together and give to our hearts. I think you spoke to our hearts. We listen from this ears here in the left side, the side of the love. Thank you so much. And continue. As we say, we promised in the beginning, we will not stop. We will continue. Continue. And we are with you. As as my sheikh told me once, he said, Hassan, continue your path, your way. Walk. Walk all the time. We'll be with you if someone fell down. No, 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 no. The body fell down. But if you look clearly, you can see all of them next to you, all around you. And we are all around ourselves. When I'm with you, you are with me. And all of us will come to be together. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Shaudin, hello. <laughs> Just one more thing, if I may. Since the theme is Maklubi, not all of you might know that when the dish comes to the table, it's a big pot and the pot is covered by a plate or a tray or something. And the smell is coming out and you can call upon your memory of delicious food and the taste starts to come in the mouth. And you think, okay, take the top off and serve it. But no, at that point, the cook or sometimes Gassan or somebody comes and does what? They flip the whole thing over and then pull off the pot. And there is this mound of deliciousness. Why am I telling you this? Because we can smell the peace, we can taste it, we can feel it, we know it's there. We're just waiting for the pot to turn over, be pulled away, and the beautiful dish inside to be served. That's our work. We're not the only ones and I wish there were millions and millions, and maybe there are, praying for peace right at this moment. But don't forget, we can taste it. We can smell it. We know it's there. It's coming. It's coming. So, inshallah, Baruch Hashem, it's coming. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much, Shabuddin. Thank you. God bless you. Yes. Yes, this is the Maklub of Peace. <laughs> the Maklub of Peace. Thank you so much. We will meet tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. And before that, you know, I'm, I'm leaving to Israel. Rabbi Amichai, he just came from Israel a week, I think. And uh, I'm going uh, to Israel soon. We're going to do a great things there. We have two events, a big events, but we have lots of events every day we will do since the morning until the next morning we will run there to create more and more peace, to bring the people together, to allow the people to taste the maklubi of the tent of Abraham, that we belong to the same place, to the same place. Don't be sad if you will not agree with someone or someone will not agree with you. Sometimes we are not agree with ourselves, especially during the nights.
when you smell the great food, oh, I'll go to eat. No, 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 I will not eat. It's it's night. You agree and not agree with yourself, you know? Different ideas run through you, within you. But we will do the best. I'm going there. We need all, all of you, we need your support to go there and to do the best there, to hold these great events. But one day, some person was walking between the alleys of the old village. This village in somewhere, maybe in Galilee, maybe, I don't know, in Atlas Mountains, maybe in uh, uh, Italy, maybe, I don't know, in, in Germany, in different places, you know. It's very old. And suddenly, he stopped and he heard a, a voice like angels, some girl singing. Oh, he fell in love with that girl. He was young. And he said, oh, I, I need to search. Where is, it? Where is the girl? Where, where, where she is? And he began to run from wall to wall, from house to house, from a, a place to place. A, you know, he didn't find her. He said, tomorrow I'll come. One day, he looked at himself. He's a very old man now. He began to search since he was young. Now he's an old man. One day he was very, very tired. He could, couldn't walk and run as he did when he was young. And he sat to some of the walls. He closed his eyes and suddenly that girl began to appear. Wow, so beautiful girl. He said, you came? She said, I never left you. Always I was with you. He said, but you sang. And I heard you. I tried to, to search you. That girl said to him, 99% of the people, they search out of themselves. You need to search within yourself. I'm your voice. I'm you. Then he hugged her. When he hugged her, he inhaled. And he began to be the flesh of songs since that time until today. The peace within us. We don't need to go away. We need to activate the peace within us. We need to be the voice and the fragrance and everything. Love you all and see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Shalom Aleichem. Salamu Aleikum. Peace be Shalom upon you. Shalom Aleikum. Shalom. Malaikum. I, I, Chris, open the voice for all of them and allow them yeah. to say peace, pace, anything. It's open. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Peace to you all. Shalom. 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 Shalom, 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 The angel is here that he was looking for. The angel is here. We heard this song. <laughs> Love to all. Thank you.